What are some alternatives to a third party 409A valuation report? Well, if you take a look at 409A and the associated regulations, a company can do an internal valuation report as long as it's done by someone who has the requisite background, knowledge, and experience in doing similar types of valuation reports. And that might be enough to get it a presumption. Or two, uh, the company can choose to just use a good faith determination of what its value is. And if it does so, it's probably advisable to at least have the board document the factors that went into the determination of the valuation on a reasonable basis, because if it ever gets challenged by the IRS or if one of the taxpayers uh, for some reason needs to look at evidence about that, it would be a good idea for the company to be able to cite exactly the factors that were used in the boards determining that valuation for purposes of option grants and uh, restricted stock awards. And things that the board might consider are maybe the lack of market for the stock in the open market. It might be comparables. It might be people's understanding or knowledge of you know, other similarly situated startup companies' valuations and other deals. It could be their own internal discounted cash flow uh, based valuations or other valuation models acceptable in the industry. There are a variety of things that can probably support a reasonable belief. Um, if you've watched our other videos on 409A valuations, you should know that if the board doesn't use a third party valuation method, or if it doesn't use one of the other presumptively valid valuation methods, what it means is that the company would have the burden of winning against the IRS if the IRS ever challenges that 409A valuation on its stock price. So uh, it means it would be harder to win a case if it ever comes up, but that's sort of where, where it is and the board does have alternatives to it. All right, thanks.